Hi, welcome back guys to this uh, new tutorial series of making modern chair in Blender. So, uh, as you can see, we have left over this uh, part of the legs in the previous uh, video. So now we are going to make the uh, make the upper part of this chair and the texturing it and uh, render the tech uh, render the whole uh, chair in cyclist renderer. Okay, so let's get started for the today's video. As you can see, this uh, looks something difficult for me or anyone seems it too difficult. But all you have to do is just uh, click shift, try to add a plane and then press G and move it on the, uh, press Z to move it on the Z. Now go into the side view and now you have to just uh, start to gain the shape of the um shape of the chair so for that i think we should uh, go into the edit mode and uh, just go to side view and edit mode select all and then extrude on the z axis then select this to uh, select, uh, delete the face by pressing x and then uh, select uh, side and select this side i guess uh go into the wireframe and just select this two vertices and uh, double tap g to move it down uh, on uh, this face now you can see we got something uh, uh, not exact but something looks like that part of top part of the chair so we will add the uh, three loop cuts by uh, pressing ctrl r and sliding the mouse wheel up uh, as you can see i have uh, added a three cut uh, edge loops and then uh, adjust it uh, such as in the reference image as you can see this uh, part should be goes down and something like this it uh, looks something like this uh, so uh, if we go back into the shader frame or something uh, you can uh, get a better result so i'm adding another uh, edge loop and selecting these two points then i have problem in selecting this point so i will remove the doubles as you can see remove two vertices so then uh, select these vertices and move it on the z axis now uh, this uh, something kind of look, uh, look at least 10 percent like the chair uh, now uh, go into the modifier setting and add the solidify modifier to um, uh, you can see there are two sharp edges I don't want this sharp so I will just increase the thickness by uh, in solidify modifier this will just uh, increase the thickness I guess 0 0.3 is uh, pretty good for uh, this model uh, now I'm gonna add the very common so uh, very very common modifier which is subdivision surface now uh, after adding this you can see we got some uh, uh, something like 30% uh, of our model now we just have to select this and press O to go to the proportional editing or press uh, tap here then scale on and scale it on the right axis it will just uh, uh, the circle will uh, circle can be scaled by um, press uh, scrolling down the wheel button and it will just uh, do anything by proportional then turn up the proportional editing and move the back faces on the z axis towards upward <coughs> sorry uh, now you can see we got uh, something like uh, in the um, reference image so i'm just adjusting some more definites and i guess this curve we got here or not yeah, this is pretty good curve some uh, as in the reference image uh, i guess this is it we got the perfect looking uh, model of this chair stop mm, we have and then uh, if we increase the viewport level to four it's look pretty good so um, we have to assign materials or uh, anything else i guess this is more 90 percent of our work done now just adjust it okay move it on the okay i'll test to unhide it 
uh, move it on the Z axis and then scale it on the Y axis. So as you can see this uh, looks pretty good now and uh, just apply the pretty good modifiers. If you uh, accidentally placed the subdivision surface above the uh, solidify then it's make the, the weird looking something kind of mesh. So just put the solid uh, subdivision surface modifier at the bottom of the uh, solidify modifier. No, now increase the viewport to 4 and uh, I guess this is pretty good looking stuff we want and okay that's it uh, I should apply the uh, uh, modifiers first to apply the solidify modifier and then subdivision surface now as you can see we got this uh, uh, good looking chair here model modeling is done now um, if you can see there is a nut going on here uh, you don't need to model it uh, if you don't want because it's in too much details so I'm just uh, doing just one nut to show you how to make a nut it's pretty simple just scale it, uh, select the whole nut and then scale it down uh, and press shift Z to not to scale it on the Z axis and uh, then press E and right click to uh, clear its movement and then extrude something like this and then press I press I to s get something effect like this and then uh, press S on the Y axis and get this effect then extrude its uh, press E to extrude it inward it will look something like this which is I guess pretty good for uh, this kind of nut then we just have to place it on the uh, at the right place so um, just place it right here and then go to the uh, rotate it mm, by con uh, hitting control you can rotate it uh, in the 5 uh, 90 degree accurately then move it uh, go to the downside and move it something like this then again rotate it place uh, hit control to uh, make it movement something like this and then go to the 3d viewport to adjust uh, it's pr uh, it pretty good just rotate something like this and then okay press shift Z and something I think this looks pretty good and uh, there's not too much work to done with uh, uh, the screw I don't want to uh, I don't even want to make that screw so if we add the mirror modifier it will not work because it's center it's at the screw center if you can see if we add any of the mirror modifier it will not work so I am just leaving it uh, right here so um, as you can see guys you can just copy it uh, copy the nut and place it off right over but I don't want any kind of this detailing in this chair because it's not important part I'm just adding some materials to uh, by going into the material tab and name it the wood. Now uh, uh, you have to go in the shading uh, mode or uh, whatever you can say it material editing mode and just uh, you will get this node editor uh, below down and just go to where I have saved my textures in uh, just search where is your wood texture and I will have the link of this textures in the description just uh, take a col uh, color node of the first one to the base color of the principal shader now you can see this is uh, looking too weird it's, uh, it's totally stretched uh, the texture it is because we uh, didn't have unwrapped the uh, whole mesh for it select the whole mesh into the edit mode press U and uh, click on the smart UV project uh, we have applied the subdivision surface before uh, before unwrapping it it's a pretty huge mistake it will take so much longer time to uh, smart UV project the mesh or uh, anything you want to do uh, as you can see after taking uh, 4 to 5 second freeze it's uh, uh, the fr um, UV projection is done then when we go back to the shading uh, you can see this uh, would look uh, better than uh, 
previous one now it's to uh, then uh, you can add the normal map if you want then add the normal map and then add the uh, vector of normal or normal map now uh, i want to add the vector of normal map then place the color of the in the normal map and normal to the normal node uh, so as you can see it's uh, just applied in the normal uh, map pretty good way uh, it just applied normal in the pretty good way now um, as you we move further we just applied the uh, same material to the uh, bottom or uh, leg space of this chair uh, which looks pretty good now uh, for the top we will just add a new material and uh, uh, reduce the roughness of the uh, material uh, because it should look uh, more reflective or uh, anything else uh, like this so uh, after this you can see this chair looks pretty good and if you want to see the textures or anything else you should go to, uh, move this light something here and go to the render mode uh, this doesn't look too good because it's a ev um, render engine which have uh, for which you have to do so many uh, so many steps to uh, take a good look at the chair but uh, i don't like this uh, color of the wood going on in here so uh, if you want to change the just color but not the texture just add a color uh, by converter a color ramp converter between them and then hit plus button and then pick any color uh, that you want to add to the texture mm, like this i want to something like wood uh, light wood what to say something i guess not now this is too high mm. okay yeah i'm not getting what i want okay this is not too good now okay uh leave it you can uh work on it pretty well and then get a nice color when you uh, go into the render mode and change the cycles to the uh, change the render engine to the uh, cycles from ev you can get this uh, good looking okay sorry my uh, pc is lagging too much because of this uh, i have put put in the render view to the uh, uh, cpu rendering so it's lagging too much and just i'm just adding the uh, plane besides the chair and when we finally render it it will look so good so i guess this is pretty much uh, good for this video we will next in the next one uh, till then bye bye